You see the daily life of Pastor Destiny. When this young man now wake up from this one and they do his prayer as usual and the song one is affected, many people all over the world will begin to say, you are a man of God, set her free. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Why can't everybody live? Must it be particular this Pastor Destiny, why not other men of God who have money and they're ready to hijack you wherever you are if you mess up with them? You are using this young man for boxing match, yeah? So this is the daily life of Pastor Destiny. After beating him up with soldiers, you come and begin to apologize. Is this fair? My question now is, is this fair? Who remember this lady here who came to Pastor Destiny after she embarrassed him in the marketplace, in the public place, where people gathered, was calling uh, Pastor Destiny a fake man of God, and they said that he duped her one million naira, which wasn't the truth. And it didn't end there. Imagine inviting soldiers to come with her and they beat up Pastor Destiny. Now look at the young man of God now laying in the bed. You have come now to say your apologies after beating him up. So what people now do, what I understood, what this law that is not working well in Nigeria is a big problem. Time has come that the government should look into this. You can't bring in soldiers and the uh, other armed forces to beat up a civilian just like that. There are places to judge a case. If someone is found guilty, this is the daily life of Pastor Destiny. Can everyone see it now? He's in the bed. To some people, you have seen this video, but I know why I uploaded this video. Because the last video I uploaded, someone was asking for the end part of the video. People are waiting to see the end part of the video, but they don't want to see the starting of the video. You have to know the starting of every event before you go to the end. Because if you just see the end, you will judge Pastor Destiny wrongly. And not just Pastor Destiny. Whoever uh, uh, is in the same room as Pastor Destiny, you will judge the person wrongly. This is why it's always important to watch the beginning of every video before the end. Stop asking for the end or what happened. What happened in the end will still come up. But I want to show you the daily life of Pastor Destiny. Now, this woman has said that Pastor Destiny duped her one million naira. But it wasn't Pastor Destiny. Pastor Destiny was up on the plane telling her that he did not dupe one million naira. He is not aware of anything. And he insisted that let they go to the police custody or wherever they can make the peace happen. But this woman decided to choose soldiers instead of paying attention, obeying what Pastor Destiny said. Now look at the daily life of this young man, always suffering in the hands of people, coming up to beat him up. Coming up to beat him up. Now we are going to see her now as she's apologizing. The pen is too much now in Pastor Destiny's body. He's lying in the bed now receiving drip and the other injections. She has come now to plead, I am sorry. What about how much the young man have spent in the hospital? Who pays the bill? I am sorry. You cost damage for someone for uh, which we last in the body for uh, months. And you come to say I am sorry in two minutes. If he says I'm not going to forgive. Some people will say but you are a man of God. Think about this. If this happened to you. Just watch. Watch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I pass through is because of all the things I pass through. That's why I not even look back. 
<coughs> and do what I did, but I've, I've just, I've, I've just, now that I know that I'm, I've wronged you in so many ways. Okay, let me ask you one question. I'm, 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 since I'm, I'm, you know, since I'm, wait, I'm so, so I'm fat. Just find a place in your heart and forgive me. Since you know that you can find him, that you can locate him, why didn't you come and meet him? Like me, I said to him now, then to bring those that uh, those I need to come and meet him. Look at him. Ah, he's lying. He's lying down here, like right this. Look at him. I'm so sorry. See the kind of condition, the condition you're in. Pass me. Man of God, he's not hearing you. He's not. Man of God. I didn't go to this as well. You have seen it now. Have you have to. I don't see this from people. I say, let me come and clear my conscience. You have to. People are accosting me. People are saying a lot of things. People are saying a lot of things. People that is out there. They are ready to. There are people that are saying they are looking for you to arrest you. I don't know what so you have to apologize to them because like this, I don't even know what, what I will do, what I will see again. Just apologize to them because already there are they are people that are making plans outside uh, uh, out there to come and arrest you. Oh he's eating. How will he eat? I brought food for him. Please. Please. That food is not my problem. Please, just please. Not my problem. Let me know whether he can eat.